Hi guys! Did you know that Creality also has a laser engraver? If you want to know more about the CR Laser Falcon and its accessories, stay tuned and check this video. Hi guys, welcome back! My name is Rui and this is the Rui Raptor YouTube channel. If you want to help us out, you can by giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also help by joining our Patreon page or by clicking on any of the affiliate links posted below in the video description. So, here we have the new Falcon laser engraver from Preality. They have two models available. One with 5 watt laser and one with the 10 watt laser. The one we will be testing today is the 10 watt model. But first, let's check what's inside the box. Right at the top is a small user manual, a small laser shield, the 10 watt laser, a couple of profiles, these are the front and back ones, a bag with screws and tools, a bag with accessories, these are the feet, there are three of them because the fourth is with the control box, next are some protection goggles, some wooden samples, a power cord, the power supply, a couple more profiles, these are the left and right profiles, and finally the control box and the X gantry. And this is everything that came inside the box. The laser module is this one. Since we have the 10 watt engraver, this is the model that came with it. It has a very nice heatsink to cool it down, the board and the cooling fan are at the top, and at the back we can see the slide system used to secure the laser module with a couple of thumb screws. Also included is this laser shield. The shield is secured to the laser module with four small magnets. And this is the power supply. This engraver uses a 24 volt and 3 amp power supply. And this is the control box. The board is equipped with a tilt safety feature. At the front is a small switch to activate a few functions. At the left is the on and off switch. And at the right is the power connector, the USB Type-C connector and the memory card slot. Inside the accessories bag, there's a focus tool. This is used to adjust the laser's focused height. There's three steps we can use depending on the thickness of the material we want to cut. The kit also includes a micro SD card. In here we can find the manuals, a sample G-code and configuration file for light burn. The front profile is this one, with the Creality logo. At the left, they included a small level to help maintain the engraver's correct position. Both right and left profiles come with the belt already installed on them. The right one includes this pin to trigger the end stop when homing, and the left one includes a millimetric scale. And this is the X axis. This one also includes a millimetric scale. The Y-axis stepper motor is attached on the side carriage, and the X-axis stepper motor is attached on the X-axis carriage. Next to it is the X-axis end stop switch. On each carriage, there are eccentric nuts to adjust the wheel's grip. Ok, let's start the assembly. First, we need to lay down all the profiles and at the correct locations. Then we use a couple of screws on each side to secure the side profiles to the front profile. All the screws are the same type and length, to make the assembly even easier. Next, we need to slide in the X axis gantry, but before that, we recommend to increase the gap between the wheels by turning the eccentric nuts on both Y axis carriages. This will help to slide in the gantry on the side profiles while avoiding damaging the wheels in the process. Make sure you slide in the gantry with the X axis stepper motor facing the back side.
With the gantry installed, place the back profile and secure it with a couple of screws on each side. Before moving to the next step, make sure you check the squareness of the frame and adjust it if the squareness is not ok. Now we need to pass the belts through the Y-axis carriages. To do that, pass the belt under the first wheel, then over the pulley, and then under the second wheel. Do the same for the other belt. Next, grab a couple of T-nuts and use them to secure each belt. Slide both T-nuts on the profile and over the belt. And then tighten the set screws to secure the belt. Do the same for the other belt as well. Next, grab the control box and attach it to the front right corner of the frame. Use a couple of screws to secure it. Make sure the cable that comes from the control box is not twisted. Ok, now it's time to install the feet on the remaining corners. Again, you need a couple of screws to secure each foot. For the back feet, pass the belt through the small opening before placing the feet. Ok, the assembly of the frame is complete. Before moving to the next step, check each axis and make sure you can move them all the way to each side. Also check and adjust the wheels grip of each Y-axis carriage and also on the X-axis carriage. Again, to adjust the wheels grip, you need to turn the eccentric nuts. We made a video explaining the best technique to correctly adjust this, so check the video description for the link. Now we need to install the laser module. Just loosen the two thumb screws and slide the laser from the bottom. To secure it, tighten the two thumb screws. And then place the laser shield. Last but not least, we need to connect the three pin cable to the laser module. And done! The assembly is now complete. And this is how the Creality Falcon laser engraver looks like after the assembly. The engraving area is 400 by 415 millimeters. All we need to do now is connect the power supply. If we want to connect the engraver to a computer, we need to buy a USB Type-C cable and connect it here. If you prefer to run the engraver offline, you can save the G-code to the memory card and insert it here. To turn it on, use the switch at the left side of the control box. Before starting each job, we need to make sure we have the laser module at the correct focused height. To do that, we place the focus tool on the material we want to engrave or cut. And lower the laser module until the shield touches the tool, and then secure it at that height. Done! The laser is now at the correct height. Reality also has a few accessories available for their laser engravers, such as an air assist and honeycomb. The air assist includes a user manual, tube, an Allen key and spare set screws, zip ties and velcro strips, the nozzle, a laser shield and the pump. The model of the pump is JD-MP56-L. There are other laser brands that use pumps just like this one. And the honeycomb includes two set of feet to increase the height of the engraver, an Allen key and rubber pads, a metal sheet to protect the workbench, and a honeycomb. This honeycomb is 320 by 320 millimeters. To install the air assist on this 10 watt module is very simple. First, we need to loosen the set screws on the nozzle and remove the nozzle from the ring. 
Next, we need to remove the ring from the laser module. Next, we attach the new ring on it and place the nozzle. Make sure the side tube is facing the side of the laser module. To secure the nozzle, tighten the two set screws. The shield that came with the laser will no longer fit, so we need to use the one that came with the air assist instead. Next, we insert the tube on the nozzle side. We can use zip ties or velcro strips to secure the tube. And finally, we insert the tube also on the pump side. And done, super simple. And this is how the laser looks like with the air assist kit installed and also with the feet and honeycomb. On our follow-up video, we will test engraving and cutting on many different materials and give our full review, so don't miss it. And that's it you guys, hope you liked the video, we will see you guys next time. Bye!